Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. Father God, I thank you today for another chance, another opportunity to give you glory, give you honor, and give you praise. For Father God, you are the all-knowing, all-seeing God. Father God, I thank you today for a mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Father God, I thank you today for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, I thank you today that you guard our hearts and guard our minds. Father God, I thank you today for you are the lifter of our head. Lord, I thank you today that you got us in the right mind. You start us on our way. Father God, I thank you today for your words as those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled. As a deer pants for water, Father God, we pant for your presence. Oh, do we need thee? Where would we be without you? Father God, you are my all in all. Lord, I thank you today that you are the great I am. Lord, I thank you today that you are what we need when we need it. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Isaiah 26 and 3 for a mind stayed on you shall be kept in perfect peace. Father God, I thank you today for the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, I thank you today that you guard our hearts and guard our minds. Father God, I thank you today that we run to you from whence our help comes. We know that our help comes from the Lord. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Philippians 4, 6, to be anxious for nothing, but in everything through prayer and petition with thanksgiving, we continue to make our requests made known to you and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard our hearts and guard our minds. Father God, I thank you today that you are all in all. Father God, I thank you today that we trust you in spite of what we see. Father God, I thank you today that we run to you from whence our help comes, so we know that our help comes from the Lord. Father God, I thank you today that you're working things together for our good. Father God, I thank you today for your words that we've done all that we can, that we choose to stand. We stand on your word. Father God, I thank you today that, Father God, your word that we hit in our heart that we may not sin against you. Lord, we thank you as your words in John 15 and seven. If you abide in me and my word abides in you, you shall ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Lord, I thank you today as your words in John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the word and the word is with God. Word was God and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and his name was Jesus. Father God, I thank you today that you are the blind eye opener. You are the lame leg restorer. Lord, I thank you today for the Ruha breath of life. The breath of life that you gave Adam for your word says, let everything that have breath give you glory. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8, 18, for this is but a momentary light affliction and cannot be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8, 26, when we do not know what to pray, to pray in the spirit, for the spirit makes intercessions for us with groans and words that we can express, uh, but the Lord knows. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8, 28, and we know that all these things are working together for good, for those who love God and those who are called according to his purpose, his plan, and design, Father God, I thank you today that you're working things together for our good. Father God, I thank you today that we will not get weary in well-doing. For Lord, your words in due season, we shall reap what we have sown if we faint not. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 1 Timothy 4, 7, to fight the good fight, to finish the course, and to keep the faith. Lord, I thank you today as your words in 2 Timothy 1, 7, for God, has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8, 31, of God be for us who can be against us. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 8 and 32. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not also with him freely give us all things. What does that mean? By Jesus laying his life down, by Father God allowing it to happen, it shows his depth of love for us. So if Jesus was willing to lay his life down for us, 
What makes you believe he won't do everything else you need? Uh, Jesus' sacrifice was much of a first fruit offering. It was an indicator. It was a reflection. A gift is a reflection of the heart towards the person who receives it. A gift is a reflection of the heart to the person that receives it. So you can tell by the gift how a person feels about you. So we can deduce that Jesus' love for us was great to lay his life down for us. Boy, oh boy. Lord, I thank you today is your words in Romans 12 too. Do not be conformed to this world any longer, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is good and perfect and acceptable will of God for your life. Father God, I thank you this day for mind transformation. Father God, I thank you today as your word says in 1 Corinthians 2, 9, but it is written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither entered the heart of man what God has in store for those who walk uprightly. Father God, I thank you that we trust you and can't touch you, track you, or trail you. Lord, your word says in Psalms 37, 4 and 5, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit thy way unto him. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Is there anything too hard for God? Father God, I thank you today that you're my burden bearer. Lord, I thank you today that you are my yoke destroyer. Lord, I thank you today that you're my blind eye opener. So, Father God, I thank you this day that I run to you from whence my help comes. For I know that my help comes from the Lord. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Proverbs 28.1. For the righteous are bold as lions. Father God, I thank you this day that we will not throw away our confidence. Our confidence is in you. Lord, your words in 1 John 5, 14 and 15. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we shall receive the things that we have asked of him. Lord, your words in Matthew 7 and 7, ask and it shall be given. Seek and we shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened for there is a great an effectual door open up to us, but there's many adversaries. Father God, I thank you today that we tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Father God, I thank you today that the wicked one touches us not. Father God, I thank you today that we choose to stand on your word. Father God, your word says heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall remain. Lord, I thank you today as your words in John 1 and 1, in the beginning, was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and his name was Jesus. Lord, I thank you today that blind eyes must open up at the name of Jesus. Lame legs must straighten out at the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease must lay, must, must remove at the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you today that Father God, your words is deep when demons tremble at the name of Jesus. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know, master, wonderful savior, Lord. Father God, I thank you today as your words in Hebrews 11, 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Romans 10, 17 says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Lord, I thank you today as your words in Romans 10, 17. Ah, no, Hebrews eleven six, for it is impossible to please God without faith. For those who come to God must first believe that he exists and believe that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Your words in Matthew six thirty three: seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all else shall be added unto us. Lord, your words in Psalm 34 and 10, those who seek the Lord, shall not lack any good thing. Let's put on the armor. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus, we put on the whole armor of God, that we may stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, powers, rules of darkness world, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, we take unto ourselves the whole arm of God, that we may withstand the evil they haven't done all to stand we stand there for, having our loins greater by our truth. Your word, Lord, which is truth, contains all the weapons of our warfare, which are not carnal, but mighty to God that are pulling down our strongholds. We have on the breastplate of righteousness, which is faith and love. I feel the shout the preparation of gospel peace. In Christ Jesus, we have peace and pursue peace with all men. We are ministers of reconciliation, proclaiming the good news of the gospel. We take the shield of faith, wherewith we quench all the fire darts of the wicked, and the helm of salvation, holding the thoughts, feelings, and purpose of God's heart, and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. In the face of all trials, in the face of all tests, in the face of all temptations, in the face of all tribulations, we cut the pieces of the snares of the enemy by speaking the word of God. For greater is us than he that's in the world. Lord, we thank you for the armor. Father God, I thank you right now that we understand and realize that we might be the only Bible somebody hears today. We might be only Jesus somebody sees today. So Father God, I thank you that we will let our light so shine to us, all men and women to you. The Lord's prayer is our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Make it personal. Lord, give me this day my daily bread and forgive me my trespass as I forgive those who trespass against me. And lead me, Father God, not into temptation, but deliver me, Father God, from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Jabez said this, Oh, that you would bless me indeed. Father God, I thank you today that we are blessed to be blessed. Enlarge our territory. Lord, I thank you today for the land, the building, the resources. Lord, I thank you today for the financial deliverance that you're raising up for such a time as this. Lord, I thank you for, Father God, all the things you're working together for our good. Lord, I thank you today for the hedge of protection you provide. Lord, I thank you today that we shall not cause pain by action, word, or deed. But let everything we do give the glory. Let it be praised for it and let it be honorable. Lord, I thank you today for travel mercy and travel grace. As we get in the highways, byways, planes, trains, and automobiles. Lord, I thank you today that we are a family of faith and not of tragedy. Right now, believers, I pray for my family. I want you to pray for your family. Lord, I thank you today for my wife, my rib, my good thing. Lord, I thank you for the blessing she is. I pray for my children, Jomo, Jemiah, and Josiah. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over lies. Father God, I thank you this day that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. No weapon shall have intended in. For what the enemy is made for bad, Lord, I know. You'll turn around for their good. Lord, I pray right now for my blood, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, in-laws, covenant. I pray for the church again to serve love first. I pray for every soul you put in my care. I pray for our prayer partners near and far. I pray for the sick and the shut in, the weak and the weary, the downtrodden, the hurt, the abused, the neglected, the backstab, the heathen. I pray for brothers and sisters behind bars, brothers and sisters being crucified for your name, brothers and sisters in the military harm's way. I pray for our leaders, local and national, give them wisdom to lead. I pray for our first responders, police officers, firefighters, and ambulance workers. Lord, I pray for our teachers and our students, guidance counselors, resource officers, cafeteria workers, bus drivers, cross guard workers, everyone in the school system. Lord, I pray for all those in the medical field. Lord, cover them this day. These things, Father God, I ask. In your son Jesus' name I pray. I say amen, amen, and amen. Well, to God be the glory. Thank you for getting up with me. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for following. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube page, go ahead and do that today. Jomo Prayer on YouTube or Facebook, Pastor Jomo, or Twitter, Dr. Jomo Cousins. Anyway, I love you. God bless you. God bless you. Yesterday, we for those of you who may have been streamers who stream me on Sunday, uh, I don't know if your streaming went through or not, but we had some, in the process of construction, we had some issues uh, with our streaming service. If it, if it didn't work for you, we apologize. But God willing, everything will be back up uh, this week. Amen. Well, let's close. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the potter. We are the clay. Moses and make us this is what we pray. Change our heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change our heart, oh God. May we be like you. I love you. I love you. By the way, <clears throat> before we leave, um, Bible study will be streamed this week. Bible study will be streamed, will not be in the building this week as they are doing construction around the building. But Bible study will be streamed this week week. All right. I love you. God bless you. I'll be back in about 60 to 90 seconds and we'll jump into the book. I love your life.